My name is Tara Teich and I am the AI lead. So I have been programming since I was 11. I went to Northwestern, I got my computer science degree. My advisor in college had some contacts with Ian Davis, who's our founder and CEO, and he got me an interview and I got the job and I came in at the ground level and uh, did some UI programming and game core on a bunch of games here. And uh, after a couple years, as I worked my way up, I started getting more and more AI tasks until I reached the esteemed position I hold today. My role as AI lead means I get to write the computer opponents for the Empire Earth 2 game. Everything they're doing, every move they make, everything that they think about is something that pretty much I coded or someone that works with me. It's actually one of the more difficult tasks. I need to understand and know everything that everybody is doing all the time. So, you know, um, we have a, a file where people check it in and I read that thing, check in what they did that day and they say, this is what I did, this is what I what I accomplished. And even if it's the smallest little thing, I need to know everything because it could all of a sudden make the AI start building airplanes in Epic 2 and you really don't want that to happen. The goal of anyone making an AI is sort of twofold. One, make it play well, but two, make it not play so well that it's frustrating for the end user. And that's really hard. Um, so in a lot of games what they do is they just sort of make it look like it's doing the right thing, but if you if you study it carefully, it might not be really doing the right thing under the hood. So the AI are in our game, it doesn't know anything that it hasn't seen yet. It doesn't, you know, automatically say, hey, I know that you're building all these archers, so I'm going to build the RPS counter to that because I know that that's what you're doing. If it sees them, it'll be like, great, okay, I know what you have. But it's never going to have some sort of unfair advantage where it's just magically knowing things that the player could never possibly know. And I think that makes a huge difference and it's apparent when you're playing the game that this is a, a lively opponent and that, you know, hopefully you might even think it could be another human. You know, we're trying to replicate some, some experiences from history and you might have an opponent that was a particular type of character that you're fighting against and so maybe you'll have someone that's streaming the troops at you constantly or they're your evil overlords and if they see that you have any military units they'll immediately turn on you so you have to build up your base in the corner without them seeing you and you have to study their patrol routes to keep away. And so Dan McClure, who's um, one of our designers, he worked on all those personalities using the infrastructures and the systems we've laid down to really really make each of those scenarios have a different feel and a different system. Rated T for Teen.